Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well today I am going to review for you guys the Stealth Cam Night Vision Binoculars. And let me tell you what, I've already used these and I am very impressed with what it can do and with the quality of the videos that it takes and pictures that it takes for something like this at this price point. So stand by, we're going to go ahead and go over this. I think you guys are going to like it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me start by saying sorry for canceling today's live stream. When I scheduled that live stream, I wasn't aware that the Super Bowl was going to be going on around the same time. And I know that people like their football, which is fine. I really don't follow sports, so I usually find out about these things right when they're happening or right before they're going to happen. So hopefully you see this video and you will know that there is no live stream going on today in addition to that stand by towards the end of this video because i have two things that i'm going to be doing i am going to be announcing the winner of the bag that i reviewed last week the 3v outlaw i believe it was called or i believe it is called and also i'm going to be opening up a little mail call that i got in the mail this week i haven't opened it yet but i was saving it till i did this video so that we could open it together all right, so let's get back to the feature of the day here. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, I bought this myself. It wasn't sponsored. No one paid for it or no one gave it to me for free. So obviously, like always, I am going to do a non-biased review as I do with everything that I get, whether I paid for it or not. One of the things that made me really take a look at this devices or this night vision binocular, it was the price point. This binocular is normally about $249 and they were on sale for $120 off. So I picked it up for $129. I've always wanted to get some night vision because I think it's important to have some uh, more for a tactical advantage than anything else. However, let me have let me tell you guys this that this set of night vision goggles or night vision binoculars is really in my opinion, not very conducive to being used for tactical purposes, all right? Uh, unless you have a spotter and you have a night vision scope on a rifle and stuff like that. But really what this is good for is to check out the perimeter of your home at nighttime and uh, hope that you're not seeing while you're using it. They're not 100% camouflaged against someone else seeing it because they do have a couple of IR light settings that turn red at night and although red is a color that doesn't travel very far distances at night it can still be seen if the person is close enough for you to you okay so i have videos and some pictures that i took uh with this device and that's going to be right after i go ahead and go through everything that it can do and show you everything that it came with first of all i was actually pretty impressed that it came with a very user-friendly user's manual i mean this manual here tells you everything about the unit it's not that big first of all but it tells you everything about the unit that you need to know to operate it in a hurry and everything is very easy to read and easy to look at it came with a neck strap you know just your garden variety neck strap. and then this is your, your unit now i'm going to go ahead and show you what the unit is made up of and then I'm going to turn it around so I can show you the battery compartment and a couple other things down there but it's just your regular set of binoculars this is where you see through this is where you're getting your picture from now these binoculars can be used at nighttime and daytime if you're using it at nighttime it has this cover right here all right if you're using it at nighttime you take the cover off and you use it like this okay so this is something that if you ever get this it's not a protective cover per se but a cover that you can put on here if you wanted to use these binoculars for during the day now as you can see here it has some buttons and these buttons are very easy to use easy to remember this is your on off button 
All you do with this is you press it for about three seconds and the unit turns on. This here is your IR setting. It has eight IR settings and technically seven, all right, because zero is no IR at all, which is what you would use if you were using this during the day. And then every time you click it, it'll bring your setting up one IR all the way up to seven, seven being the brightest. I found that the farther away the thing you're trying to look at is, the more IR settings you have to bring it up. So I think at about 150 meters or so away, I had it in IR, seven, IR setting seven, and it you know worked pretty well for what it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a $3,000 uh, military tactical uh, IR, right? Or night vision. It's not what it is. It's not what it's meant to be. But I think it works really great. Just like I said, if you have a, a pretty open perimeter, you know, around your house, and you just want to step outside and take a look at what's in the barn, you know, that's 100 meters away or 150, 200 meters away, this is a perfect, perfect thing to have, in my opinion. Okay, so these are your zoom in buttons. So if you want to zoom into something, you click the plus button. And if you want to zoom back out, you click the minus button. And the zoom buttons do work pretty well. This right here is your camera button. And for every time that you press this button, you're going to take a picture that will be stored in an SD card that you insert into this unit. And I'll show you where that is. This here is your record button. So this is just like a recording camera. It will continuously record while you push this button. To turn it on, you push it. To turn it off, you push it. Okay. And then right here is where your SD card goes. This is just a little protective cover, which is very nice, actually. And you can see this little slot. It's just a micro SD that goes in there. All right. right now, I just have a 16 gig in there, which is plenty. And to, to uh, bring it out, all you do is push it. See, you push it with your fingernail. Let me see if I can do this. What you guys see? Oh, actually, I don't have an SD card in there right now. I had it in the computer <laughs> taking off the footage that I shot with this. So what the SD card is, you just push it in there. And then to pull it out, you just pull it out. Pulling it out is a little bit of a hassle because you kind of like have to grab it with your nails. But if I had like a pair of tweezers, take it out very easily. But it can be done without any tools, all right? And of course, this is what it looks like. There's a screen in there. And then this is where you put on your neck straps. One side here and one side there. And now to the bottom. The only thing in the bottom that it has really are two things. One is going to have a tripod mount, which is ready. That's kind of nice to have. And then your battery compartments. You've got two battery compartments, which each take three AA batteries. I kind of like these, the way it's set up, because it's got a lock and unlock here. Right now it's on the lock mode. If you press this down, and press this down, and it unlocks the compartment so you can take out your batteries. And I'll show you one. It's pretty easy to take off. And this is what it looks like. There's three AA batteries in here. And it's just your little battery holder it takes three double a batteries and you just go ahead and put it in there and you can see down here let me see if i can show you i don't know if you'll be able to see it but you can see down here where it tells you that it's a negative and down here where it tells you that it's a positive so it's easy for you to know how to put your batteries in there and it just goes in there just like that and then you put your cover back on the cover is kind of a little bit of a pain to put back on because of that uh, piece of little cloth that it's got there. But as you can see, I put it back on in about two or three seconds. Then all you have to do is lock it. Now, there's a couple of things that I don't like a lot about this unit, but they're not big deals. The first thing is, is that this goes through batteries pretty quickly. As you can see, I had Duracell batteries in there. I had brand new Duracell batteries in there that I put in there. I probably put about an hour of runtime through the unit and it's almost completely drained the batteries in an hour. 
Uh, on the inside, when you're looking through it, it does have a little battery indicator that allows you to see how much battery life you have left. And it also has a camera and a record indicator that allows you to see how long you've been recording or how many pictures you've taken on the upper right hand side. So what, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off the light here. Obviously you can see I'm in my kitchen. I'm gonna tell you the second thing that I really don't like, which is really not something that you can do anything about or not anything really that the company can do anything about. But I just turned this on and I wanna show you guys how the IR works, all right? I'm gonna turn my lights off now and I'm gonna turn my IR on. Okay, so here's IR setting one, which you may not really see because it's very low. You can see the light back here from, from where you see from, but you really don't see the IR signature in the front. Okay, let's go to setting two. Okay, can you start seeing these? You see, I'm gonna go ahead and pass my hand through it. You see that? That's in the front. That's what you can see in the front. And it's a small red light. Okay, so there you go. That's what it looks like when you're looking at it from the front. Now that's IR setting two. That's three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're back to zero. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I mean. That red light right there can give away your position if you're trying to use this for tactical reasons. Uh, however, like I said, if you're just trying to use it to check and see what's going on around your property, outstanding tool. And even for tactical reasons, if you're low enough to the ground and you're using this, red light doesn't travel very far. So if you're using this to, you know, to see a few hundred meters away, which I think you can with this, because I only tested it out to about 150 meters or so. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead now and just show you a little bit of video recording that I did with this and a couple of pictures that I took with it so you guys can see what it looks like. And uh, I, I'm not really talking on that part of the video it's only about a minute or two long uh, and i did leave some captions on it so that you can know what it is that you're looking at
Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's what it looks like when you see inside with your eyes. I'm trying to hold this real still so you guys can see it, but that's what it looks like. You can see the battery on the right-hand side that is almost done, and it tells you what IR setting it's on. So it's got a pretty decent picture. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the box that I got in the mail. So this was sent to me by Ma, or Linda Landon, all right? But I always call her Ma. All right, so Ma, I haven't even opened this yet. As you can see, the tape is still on. So I'm going to open this now, and I want to thank you. I'm sure that whatever it is in there, myself and my family will really appreciate. All right, so thank you very much. Gentlemen, I opened the box on the floor because it's way too big for me to open it here. But... <laughs> It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to open everything in there because some of it, most of it is not for me. It's for my family. <laughs> so what Ma did was is Ma sent me Christmas in a box. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, February 2nd, and I'm still celebrating Christmas. Thank you very much, Ma. Let's see. This is the first thing that we got here. Let me see who it's for. This is for Little Miss Alaska Prepper, all right? So I'm not gonna open it. She's gonna have to open it. And maybe on my next video or a few videos from now, I can take a picture of everything and post it, all right? But this is for Little Miss Alaska Prepper. Let's see. Oh, this one is for me. It says here it's for Papa Prepper. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and open this now with you guys. Let's see, I have no idea what this is. It feels, now I'm pretty good at knowing what something is just by feeling it. That's why my wife tries to keep me away from the Christmas tree during the holidays. But this feels like a, an article of clothing of some kind. I know, you see that? I was wrong. I am terrible at this. <laughs> well, look at this. This is very nice. Oh, wow. Now look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is awesome. These are some of the things that you guys can give away as stocking stuffers. This is a small sewing kit. And Ma sent me five of them. I love these things. Look at that. Five little sewing kits right there. And this is awesome too. You know why? Because I know I can use it. This is cheesecloth. And cheesecloth up here, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty expensive. So she sent me, let me see if it says here what the yardage is. This is uh, three yards or 36 inches by three yards of cheesecloth. And then we have another one that's a bigger one, 36 inches by six yards. And look at that. Is this a P32 or a P50 50 something? But it's a can opener. It's a military style can opener. So... That's that. And let's see. Oh, this is going to be able to go in my prepper shack here. I got a little frame. And it's a little frame and it says kitchen blessing. It says here, God bless my little kitchen where my family joins each day, sharing meals together and taking time to pray. Give us joy for sharing and laughter for all time. God bless each other. One enters or sorry. God bless each one who enters in this place that I call mine. And then it says, we give you thanks and honor for blessing your bestow, especially in this kitchen. Lord, it's the warmest place I know. Thank you very much, Ma. I really do appreciate it. And that will go, even though my little prepper shack is not gonna have a kitchen, it's gonna go in there. Let's see what else. I don't know what this is, but this is really big. Oh, look at this, this is for Victor. <laughs> I have no idea what this is, but that's for Victor. <laughs> Let's see what else. Another one for Victor. Man, Victor's making out. What is this one? Let's see this. This one is for Little Miss Alaska Prepper, and it says open with care. Okay. Let's put that there. And we've got one here. It says for Mrs. Alaska Prepper. Put that there. And then we got a couple little of little bags. 
for a little Miss Alaska Prepper, it looks like these are the stocking stuffers. And another kind of a stocking stuffer for Victor. And then we have a card. And ladies and gentlemen, the cards I'm going to save for myself. But I got a couple of cards from Ma. Ma, thank you very much. I truly do appreciate it. Uh, this actually brought me a lot of joy. I, did, I had no idea that it was Christmas associated. That this was going to be like a, associated with Christmas. But thank you so much. I am sure that everyone's going to enjoy what they got and appreciate it as well. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining in. Oh, you know what? Guess what I almost forgot? To announce the giveaway. All right, give me a second. We'll be right back. Announce the giveaway and then call it a wrap. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I am at the YouTube ran random comment picker page, and I'm just going to do this here on the computer. That way I don't have to download it and all that kind of stuff. I can just add it to my video that I'm recording now. As you can see here is where we put the video. And that's the video. Now it's going to load the comments. And it is looking... All right, so there was 385 comments, all right? Now, this is not the pick. All right, so it loaded 385 comments. And as you can see here, this is for the video where I was reviewing the bag, okay? And I'm going to pick one random winner, right? It says randomly pick winner or pick the most liked recent comment. I'm picking a random winner right here. And here we go. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. If you if you have a drum roll, do the drum roll now. Lisa Werley. L-I-S-A. Werley. W-H-E-R-L-E-Y. You are the winner of this bag. If you'd like to claim it, you will have to make sure that you send me an email. My email address is under the description of this video and pretty much every video that I put up. I need you to contact me no later than this coming Friday, which will be the 7th of February. All right, so Lisa, I need you to contact me via email no later than this Friday, the 7th of February. I need your full name in case this is not your full name, along with your shipping address, and you have to be willing to allow me to forward your information to the company that is going to send this to you at no cost to you. And of course, you must be over 18, all right? And please indicate that in your email. Tell me I am over 18 and I am the winner. And then give me your information. I will ship it to the company and then I will contact you when the company tells me that they have shipped it out to you so that you can be on the lookout for it. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much again for joining in today. I hope you guys have a great day today. Uh, be careful when you're doing all your partying tonight on the Super Bowl. Don't drink and drive. If you drink, make sure you have a plan on how to get home safely. That way you don't end up ruining your life or the life of someone else. Having said that, remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, so you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper. I'm out.